Hey hi everyone this is admin from admin365 and today we are going to talk about the retention policies retention tag and the archive in office 365 so let's get started before we start the topic a small introduction about me i currently work as microsoft 365 support ambassador for microsoft our day-to-day -day routine is to take care of service requests created around Microsoft 365 products and services. So please do consider subscribing for exclusive content and the resolutions for common issues with Office 365. And let's resume the topic. So for us to create or know about the retention policy or the archiving, we'll have to go to the Office Admin Center. So uh, you can just go to office.com and sign in with your admin account and then click on admin tab. So once you are here, you'll have to scroll down, click on show all and go to exchange admin center. This is where we have all the policies for the mailboxes and stuff. So once we are in here, uh, we'll go to compliance management. And uh, here you can see the two tabs, retention policies and retention tag. So retention tags are the tags which specify the actions and retention policy is like a container which holds all the retention tags within it. So with that being said, let's visit a retention tag and we'll see what are the tags available and what are the default tags given to us by Microsoft. There are three types of tags, uh, as you can see in types, personal, default, and the third one is, once you click on the plus sign, you will see all three options for them. So the first one basically gets applied to the entire mailbox, which is stated as default. The second one is applied to the default folder. For example, inbox folder, sent items folder, junk folder, deleted items folder, all the folders which you have on your mailbox by default it can get applied to it as per our need. And the third one is personal tag. Uh, this can be applied to any folder which we want into the mailbox and it overrides all the other tags. The default can be overridden by personal and default folder tag can also be overridden by personal. So with that being said, let's see the examples of what are the action provided under each category. We'll click on it. In the default tag, you can see you have the options for move to archive, delete emails permanently or delete and allow recovery as you can see the definition for the same to the right as well and you can specify n numbers of day which you want the archive to initiate then it will perform its retention action be it move to archive delete or allow recovery or permanently delete and the default tag provided by microsoft is move to archive not to delete so uh, you can cancel that and uh, the other one is for the default folder as I mentioned and as you can see all the options for the default folders which are available within the mailboxes itself and this archive is not the archive which office 365 provides so this is not the one uh, it the archive which office 365 provides is in place archive or online archive and as you can see, the default folder tag has only two options are delete or allow recovery or permanently delete. It does not have an action to move to archive. So if you want to use it for archive, it is not available. And again, it has the same retention period. You can apply it if you want. And the last type is the personal folder. Uh, it has all the three, three types of action and uh, the day can be uh, specified in the window itself here. As I mentioned, this tag will override every other tag which is present on the mailbox. 
so uh, if you apply the personal tag to any other folder a folder created by you or a default folder the personal tag will take preference to it and uh, the other tags which is the default or the rpt which is the default folder tag uh, will not be applied you can create custom tags as well once you do that uh, you have to go to retention policy create a retention policy and then add retention tags which you have created from here so as i mentioned it is like a container you can create and add tags within the retention policies and for the default mrm policy which is provided by microsoft for us uh, you can see uh, the default action is to move two years old emails to the archive so if you have archive enabled on a mailbox then uh, if the archive starts to work the default action states that emails older than two years will be moved to archive so it will start the process itself once you have this um, or even a custom made uh, retention policy you just have to go to re recipients and uh, click on any one of the users and then mailbox features here you will see the policy available on the tenant as i mentioned the default one is already assigned to all the mailboxes on the tenant be it a user mailbox or a shared mailbox if you create custom one it will appear as an option here as well you can select it from here hit save and it will start to work it will take its time uh, the archiving policy is pretty slow it takes around seven days maximum for it to initiate the process but it can happen in half an hour as well the max which we suggest uh, is seven days so once you have your custom retention tags and retention policies created uh, and apply to the mailbox let's see how you can apply personal tags onto the mailbox because our default is already applied to the entire mailbox and the rpt can be applied specifically to the mailbox itself you don't have to go to the mailbox and apply it to the folders and stuff and uh, only the personal tags as the name suggests it's personal for the user itself so user have to do it for themselves so uh, for example if i want to apply a personal tag on the inbox folder i will just right click on it and click on assign policy Once you have archive enabled, you will see in place archive below. Once you see in place archive below, right click on it and click on assign policy. And you will see all the personal tags which you have created with the custom actions on it. You just have to select that. Usually it takes 24 hours for it to start work once we have the archive enabled and policy applied that is pretty much about the retention policies and the tags it should be enough for us to create custom policies custom tags and apply it to the mailbox itself so if you have any question about it drop it in the comment section i will reply to it as well and please do consider subscribing and you have a nice day